Hi everyone, welcome to this video on how to customize a Gantt chart using templates. In this video, I will explain how to customize the appearance of Gantt taskbars, milestones, tooltips and labels. Let's drive right in. First, I open my existing Blazor WebAssembly app. In this project, I have already configured a Gantt chart with data on Oscar Awards event. I had added a class named Taskbar Data with fields such as Task ID, Task Name, Start Date, End Date, Duration, Progress, Predecessor, Performance, Winner, Movie, Baseline Start Date, Baseline End Date, and Gantt Properties of type Task Properties that contain Task Name and Duration Properties that will be filled by the Gantt Chart component after the data source is loaded. I have created a list of Taskbar Data using the onInitialized method. In the Gantt task field stack, I have defined the properties to display the Oscar event with a baseline. Using the Gantt column stack, I have defined the fields to show some Oscar winners, movies, and performances in the tree grid. To know how to bind the data to the Syncfusion Blazor Gantt chart component, please watch the video title Binding List Data and Service URLs to the Blazor Gantt chart, which I have shared in the YouTube card. Now I run the project. You can see the Gantt chart with Oscar Awards event data bound to it. See, the first event is in progress and 60% complete. The second task lags 2 minutes and the baseline shows the difference between the actual and planned timings. Notice that all the tasks are connected and when the Oscar Awards event ends, it is represented as a milestone. I have enabled the taskbar editing. Now, let me show you how to customize the taskbar in the Gantt chart using a template and how to add images, performances, winners, and movie details in each taskbar based on the Oscar awards. Within the SF Gantt tag, I add the Gantt templates tag. Then, I add the taskbar template tag so that I can define the custom structure for the taskbar. To access the data passed by the template component, I create a event data variable and assign the context property, converting it to taskbar data. This way, I can access the taskbar data details within the template. Let me customize the taskbar's appearance based on the events. First, let me customize the appearance of the Oscar Moments event. I add an if condition and check whether the event data, Gantt properties, task name equals Oscar Moments. And then I add the code to show images and display the Oscar performance details. Using the style tag, I define the CSS class to customize the moments taskbar. I have added a class to set the background color and border. I have added moments image and set the position and size. I run the application. You can view the customized taskbar for the first event with images and performance details. Now, I customize the other taskbar events. In the taskbar template tag, I add the code to customize other Oscar events. I have added the code to customize the appearance of a performance event and then showed the winner's name and the movie name with an image. In the style tag, I define the class to set the size for images, face mask and Oscar. Also define for the classes, custom parent and custom performance with images for Oscar and face mask. I run the application. You can see the taskbars customized with the provided images and background colors with text. You can see the winner's name and the movie's name in the taskbar. Also, notice that the performance event is displayed with a different image and background. Now, let me show you how to customize the appearance of the milestone. To do so, in the GAN templates tag, I add milestone template tag and add the code to display the image and align the milestone. In the style tag, I define the alignment classes. I run the application. In the milestone, you can see that the moment image is added and aligned. Next, I will show you how to customize a tooltip. As you can see, tooltips are displayed for taskbars, connector lines, baselines, and while editing the taskbars. To customize all of them, in the SF GAN tag, I add the GAN tooltip settings tag and add the taskbar property and set the value with a div tag 
and set the display text as task ID and append the task ID value. So when hovering over the taskbar, you see the task ID alone. I run the application. Now when I hover over the taskbars, see the tooltip displaying the task ID on each task. Next, let me show you how to customize the connector line tooltip. In the GAN tooltip settings tag, I add the connector line property and set the value as div and set the display text as offset and append offset string to display the offset that is the lag between the events. I run the application. I hover over the connector line. You can see the offset displayed in the tooltip. Now let me show you how to customize the baseline tooltip. In the GAN tooltip settings tag, I add the baseline property and set the value as div and set the display text as baseline start date and append the formatted baseline start date to display the start date of the baseline in the tooltip. I run the application. I hover over the baseline. You can see the baseline start date in the tooltip. To customize the taskbar's tooltip when editing, in the GAN tooltip settings tag, I add the editing property and set the value as div and set the display text as duration and append the duration value to display the duration of the event in the tooltip. I run the application. I edit a taskbar. You can see the duration displaying on the tooltip. In a GAN chart, Labels are shown in the left and right sides of the taskbar. I will show you how to customize taskbar labels using templates. In the SF GAN tag, I add the GAN label settings tag. In it, I add the task label template tag and add a span tag. I use the context property and get the progress value. I append the percentage symbol so that progress will be shown as percentage in the taskbar. I block the taskbar template as this template will override the default task label settings. In the style tag, I set the display inline value for the blazer template class. I run the application. You can see the progress values with the percentage symbols displayed in the taskbars as labels. Now let me show you how to customize the left label using the template. In the Gantt label settings tag, I add the left label template tag to it. I add the code to display the task name. I run the application. You can see the task name displayed at the left side of the taskbar. To customize right label using the template, in the Gantt label settings tag, I add the right label template tag to it. I add the code to display the duration of the Oscar Awards event. I run the application. You can see the duration displayed at the right side of the taskbar. Finally, let me summarize the main points. I explained how to customize the taskbar's appearance using templates. I also explained how to customize the appearance of the milestone, tooltips, and labels. You can download this working example from the GitHub link in the video description below. You can also check if you are eligible for our community license, which gives you a free license key to use our Blazor products. If you found this video useful, click the like button and subscribe to our channel to get notifications about new videos. Thanks for watching.